Yeah, you know, I, I, I don't know none whatsoever. Oh, okay. More, yep, more balancing act. Let's, let's get across, not fall into the lava. Oh, that doesn't look. Oh, you smell as bad as you look. Oh, God. Oh, what? Really? You're... Okay. That was... What have you got me into, Rock? The fuck? Seriously? Thought I killed that guy about five different times. Bullshit. Yeah. Take a shotgun... I don't know. Get pistol with my shotgun. That's oh, cool. Everything good. We all reloaded on everything. Yep. I'm gonna use. Let me use the trusty shotgun for now. That scar gun is. It's really good, but I just uh, feel a little bit more comfortable with a shotgun. Just a teensy bit more reliable. Granted, I'm I'm a pretty pretty piss poor shot. This game this game just its shooting is a little little bit wonky. Hmm, I was trying to read that, but okay. Hardly even saw what it said. Like as soon as I Oh hi. Yeah, see. That's the reliability of a shotgun, just oh. Yeah. Wasting a little bit of ammo, but oh god. Okay. Doesn't this look kind of kind of familiar? Like this looks like I've been here before, just from like a different different angle. It looks very familiar. Oh, I, mean, I was yeah. More those machine gun parts for the for the survival thing or whatever. All right, all right, enough of that shit. You get that first lucky hit on me, and I'm attempting to shoot you as you're jumping at me, and I miss. Make me look like a dumbass. Alright, that was a little... That's just a wee bit excessive, I think. Yeah. A crossbow? Really? That's interesting, I saw. Cool. That's... That's kind of badass. But you don't get very you don't get very many shots with it. I understand that's like almost like a one hit kill, but that's uh Yeah, no, I don't I still like this gun. Just cause of shit like that. Like I don't even need to use a full clip in order to kill those things. It seems more 
It's just that that thing only had like five shots. That crossbow only had like five shots in it. And while, like I said, it is pretty damn powerful. It's not really. Uh, I'm my cup of tea right now. Oh, man. I feel like that. The burp. Where are you guys at? Oh. So coming around? Oh, yeah, you were. You were, you were waiting for me. That's, that's cool. I can't get a... Oh. Whatever the hell that thing is, I can't get into it. So, let's go this way? Okay. Maybe we'll actually figure out what the hell we're doing. Food and muscle bound. Huh, you must be Dylan. And you are uh, Dr. James Cyrus. Uh, my humblest apologies for dragging you into this, but I think for the sake of human civilization, it was a fortunate accident. Dr. Cyrus? Dr. James Cyrus? That's impossible. Uh, come with me. We have much to discuss. Oh, oh okay. Let's, uh... This island is covered in iridium powder. Anywhere the time vortex touches, it leaves this material behind. I believe it was just such a vortex, triggered by a magnetic reversal of the Earth's poles, that caused the greatest extinction the Earth has ever known. And if my calculations are correct, another event of even greater magnitude is almost upon us. And the Mayans knew it, the Sumerians knew it, and so did these men. German submarine U-1226, missing since October 1944. She was carrying an experimental device. It is called the Zeitlich Turbulen Machine, or Temporal Vortex Engine. As you can probably guess, the experiment was a great success. Here, the wreckage of the U-1226 is in the cave, five kilometers east of here. If the device can be repaired, then we can go home. Yes, and the world can be warned of the coming cataclysm and possibly find a way to stop it. And what are we doing just sitting here looking at old pictures? Why not just have me and Rock go get the damn thing and... Mr. Dillon, Rock is in no condition to endanger himself. What are you talking about? Rock's six foot three of pure Navy SEAL. That's... Not anymore, he's not. Who? It's me, Dillon. It's Rock. It's been a long time. Such is the nature of the Temple of Vortex. It's like falling into a raging river. Even if you fall in at the same place, there's no telling how far the current will take you or where you'll come out. Rock found me and the last of my crew 30 years ago. Don't worry, man. I'm gonna get us out of here. Okay, Doc. Tell me more about this German sub. Okay. Wait, just... Just a minute now. <sighs> so, basically... We found Dr. Cyrus, the uh, the guy who's that we were looking for, and we're we're thirty years in the future from where we jumped into that that time port or the the. The what 
the fuck ever thing. The thing that brought us here. We're 30 years into the future. I guess. And our friend Rock is really old now. And now we're looking for a German submarine that has a temporal vortex or a time vortex machine on it. I think that's everything. Anyway, let's get going. <laughs> that was absolutely one of the most cheeseball stupidest cutscenes that had absolutely no build up to it whatsoever. And it was just laughably, laughably bad. I'm getting. I'm getting why I haven't heard of this game because it does a really bad job of presenting itself. I don't know how you take the whole reason why we're here and then just shit it out like right in your face in about a two second thing like, oh hey here's this guy. This is this guy that you're looking for. Hey, right, how's it going? Anyway, I'm not gonna pick on this game. Let's uh let's Let's get going. Am I supposed to be... What am I supposed to be doing? Walking across this? Because I don't really want to fall down there. That looks like a danger zone down there. Yeah, it is. One of those shits. That was, um... That was very, very, very strange. And I think our character, our... Our Dylan guy has a little bit of a... What the hell? Get the... Get the hell out of here, pterodactyls. Shh. Go back to Power Rangers, dickheads. Or, there's only one of you in Power Rangers, so I guess that's... Or, go back to looking like... You look like Cliff Racers from... God damn it! It's like Cliff Racers from Elder Scrolls, or uh, Morrowind's Elder Scrolls. Go back to that damn game, dickheads. But I think, uh, I think Dylan has a little homoerotic love interest in his buddy Rock, the way he talks about him being like a, yeah, calling him like a six foot three pure Navy man, that's or a uh, Navy SEAL man. That was. A little, I mean, not that there's anything wrong with that. That's just a little. Mm. And whatever happened to that girl? Yeah, can I just stuck on anything? Yeah, it looks like I can. That's that's nice. Whatever did happen to that girl? I'm I'm wondering that now. I you almost forget about her because I've only seen her for like. What, 10 seconds? At the beginning? She said she was looking for her dad, and that was pretty much it. And it seems like. It sounded like that guy had. He brought us here? Somehow? I don't. I, I don't understand that part either. Anyway, I said I wasn't gonna pick on this game, so let's. Let's not pick on this game and just just accept what happens. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get the fuck out of the way. I'll deal with you in about two seconds, don't worry. Oh god, I almost fell right there. Where'd you go? Get the fuck out of here. Alright, let's... Let's go down here, I guess? Oh, more spinners. Oh, you dickheads. 
Where? Where? Oh god, you're hiding in a... Don't see me behind that bush. Die, die, thank you. Oh, I don't have a cool little... Like a, a drop slide or anything like that, that'd be... I, I, I am starting to wonder about that that girl now. It'd be kind of funny if we found her and she was like a she was like some 90 year old woman like getting attacked by dinosaurs just hobbling away or some goofy cornball shit like that. I could see it happening. Or but I'm sure I'm sure we'll find her and she'll be you know probably the same age as she was when we found her. Some something like that and They'll probably have some real quick love, love interest type thing, knight in shining armor shit. Yeah. Cause everything, everything that's kind of happened on this game, it's just been so, it's been like so sudden, like every, there's no... There's no real build up to anything that's happening in this game. It's just here it is. Here's some shit happening. Here's you finding that doctor. Here's you guys getting sucked into a fucking time portal and being brought to a a place where there's dinosaurs and there's and not really dinosaurs. They're just time portals bringing dinosaurs into this place. What the fuck? I mean, I think this would be it seems like it'd be kind of a cool idea for a movie, maybe? Like, if it got a little bit more, like, time and it wasn't one of those, like, quick made-for-TV movies. I think this would be a pretty decent movie, but... God damn. I... it... the... I think the thing that sets this game more apart, though, is that it's... It's trying to cover a genre of like a, a first person dinosaur killing shooter that there's so there's so few games I guess that are in that field you only really have the only, the only game that comes to my or wow my voice is cracking really bad oh shit Okay. Note to self. Um, those barrels are explosive. I thought maybe they just had ammo in them, and I was checking to see if. Oh, balls. Balls, balls, balls. 